hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in. I like to do videos on canning and vintage recipes and baking and just life here on our little eight acres in the thumb of Michigan. So I appreciate all of you stopping in today for Make It March. <laughs> I love this collab. It is put on by Lisa at Sutton's Days. And in January, we had Canuary, where we canned and canned things. But then everyone wants to know, what do you do with it? So Lisa came up with Make It March last year. And every day in March, you're gonna get a new idea of what to do with your home canned goods. So I'm sure most of you will recognize this ugly chicken. And this is some plum sauce that I made this year for the first time. It's really good. Next time I'll add a little more hot pepper to it. I didn't want to make it too spicy and I was a little shy. <laughs> so I'm going to make something today using those two items. Kind of Asian, Asian inspired. I'm going to make some wontons and they're gonna have a chicken filling. I was inspired by a video I saw on TikTok and her father had a restaurant and she makes recipes and hers was different than what mine is because um, she used ground chicken, which would be great, but I'm doing pantry items. So we're gonna use ugly chicken. So let me get everything together, get some oil, get some oil in the pan and we'll make some wontons. I'd like to thank Lisa for inviting me to Make It March. Make sure to watch all the videos and comment on them because she is going to be giving away a pressure canner at the end of the month. There will be a live giveaway and they're always a blast. They're always so much fun. And I'll have all that down below along with the playlist. So let's get making chicken wontons. Okay, we have green onions that I have chopped up. I have cabbage here. I'm gonna chop it up more. It's the angel hair type. You can use a head of cabbage and just slice it fine and then cross cut it. I'm gonna open up. Did you hear that nice seal? It smells great. I'm gonna pour out the juice. I might use some of this in this recipe. If not, I will use it for something else. Never throw this down the drain. Break it up some. Let's take this cabbage. And chop it up so it's not such big, long pieces. I love Asian inspired food. So when I saw that, I thought, well, I can take it and adapt it and make it a little different. And it will, I hope it will be a great treat. I don't think all of this cabbage. So I'm gonna take about half of it at this point and add in. The rest I'm going to set aside. I might decide to add it, or I'll do something else with it. I have a whole nice sized bunch of green onions chopped up. The original recipe also had chopped, the original recipe also had chopped onion, and I'm not going to use that. Um, I have half of a block of cream cheese which this is my addition. Use a little bit of, about a tablespoon or so of the um, 
broth. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of the broth. Here's a half a teaspoon of garlic. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna add some black pepper. And I was trying to find my white pepper and I can't find it. So I'm gonna do about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So now we want to mix this all up, but I might need the other half of the cream cheese because I want this to hold together. So I'm gonna use my hands, which are clean. <laughs> I want this to get nice and combined. Nice. Flying everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Now, because this is all cooked, I'm going to just take a fork and taste it and see if it needs any more seasoning. I'm going to add ooh, a couple shakes of soy sauce to it. I got some oil and a wok that I have heating up. And then we will get to making these wontons. I'm going to use the plum sauce as my dipping sauce. But I have made meatballs and put it in the crock pot with a larger jar of the plum sauce. And oh my. I've taken them to potluck and I've never even gotten one myself. <laughs> I highly recommend that. You can use it as stir fries. Trying to get the wonton wrappers to separate. I need a little bowl of water. Get one out tablespoon of the filling in the middle. Moisten the edges. Oops, that one tore. Okay. I'm going to put a little less filling than a tablespoon in. I don't know if this one will work because here we're going to fold it up. So I'm not going to do such a large tablespoon. Get the edges. Okay. Mm. Squeeze out the air, add some extra water if needed to seal the edges. Get the air out and pinch, pinch. Let's try again. Fold the corners over. Pinch out any air. Use the water to seal the edges. Then we'll set these aside on this plate until the oil is hot. And then you're going to want to cook them in batches because you don't want to overcrowd. Let's try putting one in.
the run in. Let's flip it. Not browned yet. Oh, that one was coming loose. Let me hold it. <laughs> See if it'll seal. I'm going to bring the water over here to see if I need any sealing done. And I'm sure it takes a little bit of time for them to cook because she was using raw meat. So it's just a little bit, but still the meat has to cook. If you have children, be careful with doing this around kids and make sure that no one grabs them right when you take them out of the oil because these will be hot. So there we go, there's one. And it's still. I might try some different shapes too. Our favorite local Chinese restaurant, they make their crab cheese like little purses. So maybe I'll try that. Ah, they're getting nice and brown. Try the purse style. Here they all are, except for a couple that we ate. I did add more cabbage. I liked it with some more cabbage, so I used probably three quarters of that bag. So let me get them set up and get the plum sauce. Can't miss the plum sauce. Let's open up the plum sauce. I will link the video that I made with this. It has mustard seeds, and all kinds of great spices in it. So let's go get this ready on the platter. Here they are, all set up. There's the plum sauce, the wontons. It makes a lot. You could freeze half the filling if you don't want to make this many. These will heat up in an air fryer really nicely. So let's try with the sauce. Okay, I wanna show you the sauce closer up. I'm gonna use one of these kind. This kind was really easier to seal if you had it filled too full. So, see the chunks in there? There's mustard seed, there's the plums. I'll put the link to the recipe the video showing it, but mm. makes a perfect dipping sauce. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch every day in March. You don't want to miss one of these Make It March videos. You're going to get lots of ideas how to use your canned goods, your home canned food, and here we use two today. We'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.